I actually, uh, I was almost telling you about it. I, yeah. I actually uh, saw it, ironically, after we had <laughs> mastered our album and turned it in. <laughs> I was searching on uh, Netflix one day, as I always do, and ran across it and, and couldn't believe it at first and then read the, the synopsis on, that, on the film. And, uh, Wanna be. Why you act like you're black? Don't let my skin confuse you, all right? It's who you are. Like you think that's a birthmark, right? <laughs> that's the real color of my skin, and the rest of me is a birthmark. What? White boys. Yeah, I watched it. I found it funny. That I remember calling Akin and, and saying, "Like, yo, this, this movie is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the concept was amazing. The acting was okay." I'm gonna let him actually say it because he actually made the, the conscious effort on his birthday, 2011, to actually come up to my house. Yeah. Uh, we were already both fans of each other's works. We just weren't familiar with each other as um, as we are now on an individual level. Um, yeah, I mean, it, you know, doing I was in the group and them in the group, uh, strong arm steady for so long, um, doing so many things on the West Coast that were um, innovative and groundbreaking, and then being a fan of Sarah, who were also on the West Coast doing a lot of things that are innovative and groundbreaking, um, and but from kind of two different perspectives and. And approaches. I'm a weirdo in the sense of musically. I like to to always push myself and and develop because my love for music is, is a spiritual thing. So I like to develop things, you know, um, you know, from from an internal perspective and then display it. You know, like anything that we did, in, even in my group, um, whether it be working with Mad Lib uh, or working with, uh, say, a Jelly Roll or Black Toven or working with Static Selector. Um, you know, these are people who, who we actually had a, a real spiritual connection with, and then creatively we were able to display that, you know, to the world. And I always felt like that, you know, what Sara was, you know, bringing to the table, not just musically, but creatively all together, was something that, for a long time to me, I mean, it was an inspiration to me, but then for a long time, after a while, I started to feel like it didn't get fully it's 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 just you know what I'm saying on it so it started off as me wanting to after the Mad Lib album with Strong Arm Steady wanting to go and do a, a Strong Arm Steady album with Shafiq Hussein and um and this was even after he had went solo and did uh In Africa which was like my favorite album of 2009 um uh, and and that was right around the time we had finished the the uh, In Search of Stoney Jackson album so I was really inspired by that record, and, and I wanted to do a record with Bro after listening to that album. The production on that album inspired me so much. I was like, okay, well, damn, you know, I want to go do a record. So after we finished touring for uh, the Mad Lib album, that's when he was talking about the birthday. I was able to to uh, reach out to him because we knew each other, but like I said, we hadn't had a you know a, um, a bond creatively, and, and and then even personally in a capacity where we could start creating music. Um, I would come to Sara shows and. Uh, and then my, when my birthday came around, um, one of the things that I did on that day, I just remember 2011, that's why we always talk about that, because one of the things I did on that day was went and visited Shafiq at his home. And we just vibed out, smoked, and, 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 and was building on all kinds of subjects. And then at the end of the day, we, we played music. He played music for me. And Hot sec. Yeah, for like a second. And, and then at that moment, the conversation was exactly what it should have been. And, you know, we just started developing, you know, from there, the, the, the friendship that was needed. And if you do your homework, you know, if you look at, like, some of his solo stuff leading up to this, and then it's also mine, like, we appear on those things, or, which was kind of like hints to those that are really paying attention, like, okay, these guys are connected in some way. Now, we started to let that out to the world. And then, you know, here we are a few years later, when, you know, we were able to do what it's now the neighborhood wonderful. <laughs> See, everything I did based off of a need for our culture, and not, and I know that sounds lofty, right? But it was, it was, it was. If you listen to Gun, if you listen to Mary Son, if you listen to Bloomingdale's, Bloomingdale's, if you listen to Hearsay, if you listen to the Dual One and Two, our people need to hear these things. And as well, and this is the beautiful part of it, I needed to say them, me, my spirit, 
my heart. I needed to get those things off of me. You know what I'm saying?